special. I'm going to take a moment and a little tip, tip my cap to Mr. Stephen Norton, who knocked it out of the park last night, playing piano and drums in the same freaking song. Thank you, Rich. You're a man of many talents. Just leaping around. It was great to see the, the other side of you, man. It was very impressive. Awesome. Well done, Stephen Norton. Um, the rest of the band could take a note. You know what I'm saying? Put a little more effort. Especially you. It's nice to see you bringing your bass to stage, though, these days. It's been a really unique convention. You've only forgotten your bass once. Yep. Bass, bass player. You know, it's in the title. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's time. Should we do this, Robbie? Should we? Uh, yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're hungover, don't worry. We're going to give you a little scotch. It's Ruth Connell. She's a black magic woman. She's a black magic woman. She's a black magic woman, got me so blind that I can't see. She has no flight home, she lives here now. But she's a black magic woman and she's she's coming for Mike. She's such a black magic woman. Her legs look like scotch tape. Such a black magic woman. And she just had back sex with the bass player of my band. Aren't you jelly, Robbie? She's a black magic woman And she knows where to land <laughs> I always love figuring out where Rob's gonna go with his rhyming A man of many talents uh, Scat singing ain't one of them nope. <laughs> Free form rhyming uh, And you go, oh wait, where she's gonna land I mean, just, you got there, yep. it was good yep. Ruth, has your flight been canceled? Oh, well, okay. we're having a whole thing here in town. I mean, it's just going to go and go, so, you know. Just a wee bit snow. Yeah, I didn't cancel my own flight, Ruth. You I'm willing wait. to go. <laughs> wee bit of snow. In Scotland, we walk through that to school every day. Okay. I'm making things up now. They know that because they know what you're going to do now is take questions and hand out stolen goods. Because that's your whole... <laughs> You people are about to be not only an audience, but uh, complicit members in a crime. So, <laughs> congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Ruth Connell. Good night. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Bye. Bye, Robert. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Is anybody else as tired as I am? Yeah. And the thing is, it's all our own fault. <laughs> we brought it upon ourselves. All right, so are you coming and are you going out? Excuse me, you? Are you leaving or going? Coming or going? That's okay, sit down. <laughs> if I see anybody moving that way, I'm going to body block you. You know, I'm actually sitting down today. I don't normally just sit down, do I? That's how, that's how bad it is. <laughs> the reason being, my excuse is that the alarm in my hotel room went off at six in the morning yesterday, which is four o'clock on my body clock, and I've been furious ever since. <laughs> and I, it's not something I want to get over, <laughs> or I'm able to get over then, so I woke up at six o'clock this morning as well. So I'm running on NyQuil and uh, hope. <laughs> How are you all doing? Are you having a good Sunday? Just an average Sunday with those Jareds and Johnsons or whatever their names are. <laughs> and Mashas. <laughs> I love a bit of Masha. So I don't actually, here, here's my, uh, there's good news and there's bad news. <laughs> so the good news is the lovely um, Castiel's angels made me some lovely gifts um, so that if anybody makes a donation to uh, my charity, my hope chest, just a dollar or two or the price of a coffee, whatever you feel oh, stuck together. If you come and show me the receipt on your phone, I will give you one of the handmade and uh, lovely goodies um, that the uh, Castile's Angels made. That's so nice of them, right? 
And so, sto who doesn't know my stolen goods story? There's two people. <laughs> Sorry, everybody else. <laughs> So my first convention in Vancouver for creation, I turned up for my panel and Erica Carroll turned up and she had these beautiful handmade cupcakes with SPN family engraved on them in silver. And I had nothing. <laughs> so when I went home that night, outside my room, my hotel room was the toiletry cart. <laughs> Everyone loves a good shampoo. So since then, <laughs> I have been taking things from hotels. <laughs> and redistrib redistributing the wealth. Um, but Random Acts clocked onto it and now they collect toiletries um, uh, for shelters, for women's shelters, homeless shelters at most cities that we're in. And sometimes we get like two or 3,000, which is awesome uh, because you guys are awesome and you continue your generosity and it is just, it's never ending and it's incredible. So to thank you, I have a shower cap. I have, I think this is a sanitary bag. <laughs> Either that or a shoe, shoe mitt polish. <laughs> One of the two, <laughs> close. I have two pieces of cotton wool, an emery board and an ear cleaning product. And that's it. Uh, because, because the cleaning lady got turned away from my door and told not to clean so I didn't get the chance to take other things. I do have some beautiful necklaces if you make a donation. So that's the good news and the bad news. Um, and I do, for when the stolen goods run out, I do have some My Hope Chest bracelets. And the last thing I'll say before I do answer a question is that um, it's just a small charity. They've paid for 50 women's reconstructions over the last 10 years. That's 50 different women's lives and families' lives um, being made better because boobs. Um, so if you could just, if you could go online to Twitter or Facebook and just give them a follow, I don't, I'm not even asking for any money or anything, just give them a follow, give them a little boost and um, they're always so grateful because boobs, everybody likes them, men, women, children, priests, whoever. That always gets a laugh and I like it. We do watch Supernatural after all. Oh, and I just found a conditioner. <laughs> this is now the star prize. I think that's it. Oh no! Come on. Oh my word, shampoo. I lied, there's no bad news today, it's just all good. Oh dear, she's on her feet. Oh dear. Oh dear, I need to get my steps in. So I'm going to split this one pack into three different things. I'm sorry for whoever gets the earbud. <laughs> Will I keep these two together? Yeah. yeah. Will I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to be discussing. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> right, okay. I think that's everything. I think that's everything. Everything. Unless... No, these are all just goodies from um, Castiel's Angels, which is amazing. So, okay. First question. What's your name? What's your situation? Where are you from? <laughs> I'm Casey. I'm from Woodstock. What do you Illinois? want to know? I, I want to know if you could uh, do like a behind the scenes crew job, trade places for a while. What? crew job would you like to do like lighting work on sound or set sorry i'm just checking my hair <laughs> and the camera and checking my my pants and it's lovely so what crew job would i want to do yeah. that, i've never been asked that question before you have a moose on your shoulder what job would you like to do from the crew see this playing for time playing for time while my brain catches up i personally question. think i would like to maybe work on lighting <laughs> I did a little bit of that in one of my stagecraft cool. classes in college, and that's, uh, I would love to learn more about that. It's really creative lighting. <laughs> it also takes the longest. <laughs> it's like when we turn around, that's what you say when you shoot one way and then you turn everything around, the 20 minutes in between is for lighting. Um, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's too much like hard work. <laughs> Crew works so hard. The average, I'm going to open this just to see if it's sanitary or shoe related. Um, the average, lifespan for a third AD. They're the guys that are there when you, or women, that are there, sign you in and sign you out. They're there the longest. And the average lifespan is like 52 years old. So 
because they worked such long hours. The crew and our show, I don't know what it is, but I do like it. I think it's for your shoe. Will you be happy with this gift? I mean, it's quite big. Oh, so she, like, what, what is this? Why is my hotel giving me this? What does it want me to do? Hello. <laughs> my name's Shuey, the sh shoeless mitt. I'm in search of a shoe. Do you have a shoe? No, you don't. You've only got a trainer. I need a shoe. Oh, I'm a sad shoeless shoe mitt. Will, will you find love for me? You find the right shoe to fit this, and it'll be like the opposite of Cinderella. So I didn't answer the question because I don't know. Honestly, crews work too hard. I can never do it. Uh, they work so hard. Um, I go in. I love this. You know the hair and makeup trailer? You know what it's called? The works. <laughs> like, it's like that. It's like you go in like, uh, in the morning. You come out, oh, Rowena. Two and a half hours later, it takes like three licensed professionals to tong my hair to that height. And uh, it's... I could, I could never do what they do. They're so patient, because actors are very pain in the ass. <laughs> so demanding and emotional, it's ridiculous. Um, so I, I, yeah, I don't, I, I honestly, I think being an actor's, the, the, I don't want to say easy, because it's not easy, but um, I'm glad I'm an actor, except when I'm unemployed. Because <laughs> that's shit. Where have you been? You're late. Yes, you with the red scarf, exactly. What's your excuse? If it's Misha related, I don't want to know <laughs> what he was doing and who with, for how long, and what position. <laughs> what are you? Oh, like for your prudish. I know you lot. You watch Supernatural. I mean, Gosh. <laughs> can't, I, there's no, I can't go too far, can I? Can I? Hi. Hi. What's your name? Where are you from? What do you want? My name is Meg. I'm from Nebraska. Oh, cool. Yeah. I have a grudge against Nebraska, but we can talk about that later. Okay. <laughs> um, and I was wondering, in the past few episodes, Sam and Rowena have been kind of close. And <laughs> I was wondering what you thought about their relationship, especially since Sam's supposed to kill her. Okay, so you said a very bad thing at the end. I know. <laughs> I'm going to give you a My Hope Chest bracelet, is that okay? Oh, yes. <laughs> so I think that that part of the storyline will happen after season 15. <laughs> That's my pitch <laughs> to the writers. Um, I see a lot. Of, I see what you guys say online about Samoina or whatever it is. All of that. <laughs> I, no, I love the relationship between... I love that Rowena has a different relationship... Um, her relationship with Sam is different to her relationship with Dean, is different to Cass and Jack. I love Jack. Don't you love Jack? I mean, I know he's done some awkward stuff recently. You know, offing a few people accidentally and stuff. Um, but I love that they're all different and I, I love that they have the shared experience um, and understanding. I love that and I love getting to work with all the boys individually. It's much easier than when you, when you have to work them all at the same time. As Phil Segrisha says, it's like herding cats <laughs> when you have them all in the same room. And so some of the stuff that I shot is Michael. Um, there's like Jared and Jensen and Misha in the, in the background and Jack and I are like <laughs> trying to act. <laughs> and uh, I mean, was like, we're just gonna shoot the guys out. <laughs> we're just gonna get them. Because they just have such a carry on to make each other laugh. So, I, yeah, I, I love it when I get to work with um, Jared individually. And I hope I get to do it more next season, except that last thing that you said, which <laughs> she'll go back in the vaults, and I forgive you for saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your question. <clears throat> Are you feeling lively today? <laughs> Are you feeling like you believe in miracles? <laughs> you sexy thing. Oh, shh, the flight, no, don't talk about the flights. Let's, let's know what's happening elsewhere. That's correct, curtsy. Mm -hmm. 
Hi. Hi. Oh, hello, it's you again. <laughs> I'm following you. <laughs> because you mentioned the Sam thing. I know where you sit. Hello. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I have to open my eyes now. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, thank you so much. Thank you for coming to my panel. So nice to see so many of you here. Hi. 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 Just like seeing all your wee faces. Hey, hi. <laughs> What's that? Attack dog spell. Yeah, I've got. I can. I'll. I'll pass it on. What are you doing up the back? Oh, hi, hi. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Get in my way. Get in my way. Excuse me. <laughs> hi, hi. I don't like my. Hi, hi. Hi, Red. Hi. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but it's fun. <laughs> it's cheering this morning, to be honest. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Where have you been? Punting people and saving no. Shaving people and punting things. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hurry up! Hi, cutie. Hi. Hi. I should answer another question, just wandering aimlessly, getting my steps in. Hi. Hi. Oh, you would? Plan on it. She just said, I'll die for you. I was like, plan on it. Once you're in the mega coven, there's only one way. There's only one way forwards. Hi. 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 Cheyenne, mm -hmm. your eyes are so blue. Thank you. They're awesome. Okay, so you have, I'm like so impressed by your whole wardrobe and Supernatural. I love it. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite outfit? What was your favorite ensemble to wear? My favorite ensemble, <clears throat> I like what they're doing with her. Um, I like my trouser suits. I like my, my trousers from this episode. They were so, so tight. Um, but they look good on camera. Um, I actually, I sometimes buy, I, I, I go to the shop they've got them from and buy myself. Some of the things. Um, back in the day when I used to wear ball gowns in the afternoon, as one does. How do you prefer, would you prefer shampoo or a shower cap? I'm fine with whatever you want to give me. Okay, you're getting an emery board. Awesome. <laughs> it's tiny, but powerful, a bit like Rowena. Um, I love, so back in the day, ball gowns during the day, I love, um, I had a red dress that was backless. And it was so difficult to wear. I was stuck down and taped in so many places. But um, everything's kind of measured, everything's made to fit me. Um, so it ain't going to fit anyone else when the show ends. And I'm like, I should just buy the lot, right? I should just, <laughs> I should just take them all, take all the dresses. Thank you for your question. Thank you, thank you. Are you still awake? Do you need more scotch? Yeah! <laughs> so do I. Hello. What's your name? Hi, Ruth. Hi. Uh, I'm Alex. Hi, Alex. I'm from Crystal Lake, Illinois. Oh, nice. And, woo, other Crystal Lake kids. Woo! Okay. Um, my question is, which of the craziest fan experiences have you had, and do the positive experiences outweigh your negative ones? Okay, that's a good question. Of I'm just, gonna, I'm just thinking about what I'm going to get you. I think maybe the cotton wool. <laughs> Sound good? Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, of course, of course the positive experiences outweigh. I mean, I'm so lucky. So lucky. I mean, there's just no words for how lucky we are to have um, these conventions that Adam and Gary... <laughs> run for us all so we can come and meet you all and get given love. <laughs> Just like, Whoa! I get to do my job, I get to play Rowena, and then I get this as well. It's amazing. I still, I still remember my first funny fan experience way back at a convention, one of my first ever conventions, and it was a Scottish lady. She does travel over to America to quite a lot of the conventions. And I think it was at VanCon, and <laughs> she said to me, Hi, welcome to the family. 
once you're in, you kind of get out. <laughs> and it sounded vaguely threatening. <laughs> but now I think it's a good thing. I don't want to get out. So thank you for your question. Thank you. I believe in miracles. Are you warming up in your seats? You know what's coming. <laughs> Good sex, I think. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, first off, you are one of my, besides the main um, actors like Jensen, Jared, and all of them, they are <laughs> no offense <laughs> to them, but you have become one of my absolute favorite favorite characters. Oh, that's because you've got really good taste. Oh. <laughs> <You're> the best. <laughs> um, my question um, is when... She, you're getting the conditioner because you said that. <laughs> that's fine. I'm, I'm easily open to bribes, just saying. Um, Emotional or otherwise. What was it like to find out that you were going to be Crowley's mother so when i um when i got the audition sides we call them the pages the sheets um they had obscured the names you know they mixed the names up but i just from reading it i worked out it was something to do with crowley and i i don't know i came across the episode with theo uh, um who played my grandson you know, that, that episode back in Edinburgh, and I thought, he actually does a really good Scottish accent. He must have a relative who's Scottish, and he does. Um, and I, so I'd worked out I was something to do uh, with Crowley. And then anyway, when I booked the job, um, my agent phoned me to say casting, said to tell me, just let her know that actually she's playing the mother to the king of hell. <laughs> and I told my friends, I'm playing the mother to the king of hell. And my friends said, of course you are. <laughs> but what I really love now uh, is that I play Rowena and she's a 360 something <laughs> you know we're like about our ages uh, year old Scottish witch whose son was Crowley Fergus like I love the fact that Rowena is a female character on her own um, who saves her who saved herself nothing but absolute joy and affection and amazement that I got this part. It's been probably the best thing that's happened in my life. Thank you. It's coming, it's getting closer. I believe in miracles. One more question. Hi, Ruth. Hi. Hi, my name's Natalie. I just hit myself in the tooth oh, with a microphone. Are you okay? <laughs> Anybody else got uncoordinated when we're talking? <laughs> My name's Natalie. I'm from Seymour, Indiana. <laughs> uh, like yourself, when I go to hotels, I like to collect the amenities. And I was wondering, do you have a favorite item that you like to collect? Oh, yeah, I like a nice body lotion. That's why I don't give them out so much. <laughs> and also, would you like or, to trade? Or, oh, or if I do, I give them out half used, which is always. Would you like a My Hope chest bracelet for a trade? Sure. I'm, I'm slightly concerned by the weight of your bag about what you have taken. It's mostly uh, soaps and shampoos. One hotel I was at in, in Europe somewhere, it was in Europe, and anyway, we were staying in the same hotel that the convention was on in, and eventually at the end of the three days, I had a, a bag like this, and I took it back to the hotel, and I was like, I'm just giving you this bag. Because <laughs> everybody had brought me so many things from the hotel. They restocked their, their shelves themselves. Thank you. Just give me one. Give me one. What well, would you like? Lotion? Lotion. Lotion. Thanks. Thank Thanks. you. Okay. You are excused. <laughs> so, I've got my phone ready. And what I'll do is I'll just live stream us to like 220,000 of my closest <laughs> frenemies. Okay, I'm just, just I, I took social media off my phone um, to try to get my brain back. It didn't work. <laughs> no, but um, actually I, um, oh, it's not working. 
it's so that when I go on social media now, I just do it very deliberately. I go on in the morning and read what everyone says. Look, love the pictures this morning from last night. Who took some pictures, posted them? There are some really cool ones. You make me look really good. I see, I look like a singer in them. Right, I know I'm gonna have to do a video and post it. That's what I'm gonna to have to do. So stand up. Stand up now or sit up in your seats. Think, think, think miracles. Think sexy miracles, that's all I'm looking for. Especially you. <laughs> so, do we have the song? Do we have it? Awesome, you guys are awesome. Can we hear it a little bit? It's much better. This is for Krista, this is for Krista's birthday. For the big 4-0. Right, Thank you. hi, hi. Nice to see you again, hi. Who's 40 today? Is it your birthday today as well? Aww, all the birthdays. Right, so, so, you ready to move? You ready to do this? So we're gonna start over the lasso, right? And I want, you, I want you to sing it as well. What do you mean? Oh, I believe in miracles. Yes, come on, sir. I can see you standing there. Where are you from? You sick? And you want to like lasso people in, and then you give me your John Travolta. I believe in miracles. Come on. Since you came along, and then we just give it. You sexy thing. <laughs> and that's it. So it's very simple. So you, got, especially if you're wearing a baseball cap. <laughs> I can see you all. I'll see you if you don't do it. So we're gonna have one practice, and then we're gonna film it. Ready? Okay. Go. I believe in miracles. Let me hear you. Louder. Since you came along. You six. Louder. I believe in miracles. You look good. Since you came along. You ready? You six. Yeah. That was perfect. That was perfect. But here's the thing. Like, it's really windy in Chicago. And I noticed. I noticed in the streets. Everyone's like. I heart, everyone talks really loud over the wind and you're singing so quietly. So I'm not having it. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh Hello, Chicago. Okay, when you're ready. When you're ready. Here comes. Where are you from? And John Travolta. And thrust. Yeah. Woo. Okay, I shall be posting that to the sweet. Guys are crazy. Look at what you just did. And I have it all on camera. You were the best. <laughs> Is it this side? Hi, what's your name? Where are you from? Hi, what do you I'm, want? I'm from Je I'm Jenna from Lamont, Illinois. Hi, Jenna. Hi. Again. Um, I was in your witching hour last night. I, I remember. Wanted... Shh, what happens in witching hour stays. I would never disclose. I just want to say it was very inspirational and I enjoyed it. Oh, so it was thank inspirational. You. It was. You can so tell thank them you. that. <laughs> but don't mention the voodoo and sacrificing. Oh, I would never. My question is just simple. I was just curious at what kind of music you listen to. So, I'm just going to look at my music thing on my phone. So, <laughs> I listen to, in the car, I listen to the song I'm singing for Saturday Night Special over and over and over again to try and get the, the tune in my head. <laughs> and then, I like a bit, a bit of 90s. Stuff. I'm stuck in the 90s. Also, my I have an what are they called an Alexa. 
you know what I mean, in the house that somebody gave me. And <laughs> oh, I, it, if I speak very slowly, <laughs> hi, Alexa. Can you play Hosier for me? Hosier. Uh, and so all it does is play Hosier. Hosier. So how, how do you say it? Hosier. Uh, that's all I play on that. Because when I ask for other things, it's like, that's not available in Amplitude or whatever it is. And I'm like, oh, so I just go back to Hosier. So I listen to Hosier. Hosier. Um, I like Alicia Keys. I, I like, see, I'm so stuck. I'm still listening to Air Moon Safari. You don't even know what that is. That's like a French album from 1998 or something. I like, I like, yeah, Ed Sheeran. I like old, old songs. Like it just, I love all the stuff Chris Milky plays. Um, um, we were just singing, um, listening to um, Steamy Windows. I love a bit of Tina Turner. Again, she was big in the 90s. <laughs> Titanium that I mentioned yesterday. I also, Candy Staten, You've Got the Love. Water Boys, Hole of the Moon, a bit of Beyonce, uh, George Harrison, he's my favorite Beatle. George Harrison raised more money pound for pound than any other Beatle for charity. Did you know that? I have the Peaky Blinders <laughs> theme, theme, which I, do you, have you heard it? And I love the Fiona Apple tune from, I'm, 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 I'm saying too many songs now, haven't I? You're like, this was just a general question. Like, answer, disco, <laughs> or rap. I don't listen to rap very much. Um, Caledonia, that's a Scottish song. Radiohead, I like a bit of Radiohead. Mm -hmm. And James Bay, Hold Back the River, I like that song. And, oh, yeah, I mean, there's, isn't music amazing? Uh, and I'm listening just now to a bit of Jacques Brel, because uh, I'm going to Paris for a convention. I'm trying to learn a song in French and it's really hard. I thought that would be a snitch. It's really hard because I don't speak French. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Did I give you anything? You did not give me anything. What, did, what music do you like to listen to? I listen to everything. I grew up on classic rock. I listen to pop oh, and classic I, I listen to it all. I like classical music as well from back from my ballet days. Like a, like a dee da 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 like a bit of morning, right? A bit of pure gint. A little bit of everything does you good, right? <laughs> Excellent question. Oh dear. <clears throat> Hello. What's your name? Armaya. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I like your hair too, it's cute. Thank you. I'm going to do mine like that tomorrow. <laughs> so cute. What's your question? Um, if you could be any character in the show, who would you be? Rowena. No, beside yourself. <laughs> um, um, I was really excited that I got to play Michael for a minute. How do you feel? I'm going to give you a wristband. I'm not, no. You know what? I'm going to give you this to protect your hairdo in the shower. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, An actual you, practical right? gift. Yeah, thank you. Doing better than, than my average Sunday. So what other character? What, 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 do you, what would you like to see me do? What? What would you like to see me do? What other character? Um, that's kind of hard. I know! I, that's yeah. why I'm saying it. and throwing it back at you. Um, you see how hard it is? <laughs> maybe Mary, just because like you do have some sort of connection with Sam in one of the uh, episodes, so I mean, that could be one, yeah. I like that idea, <laughs> I like that. I, um, yeah, I'm, I, I love doing Michael, I love doing that, I wish I'd got to do it for longer. Um, it's always fun to play more of a baddie or a different baddie. I think Misha answered this question in a panel and he's, and I'm trying, I still can't work it out, you, you'll be able to work it out more than me. He, his answer was something like, he would like to be possessed by Rowena. So would that mean it would look like Misha, but come out like me? Is that what that means? So like, you know, like a bit of eyeshadow, a funny accent, <laughs> and like quite snarky, <laughs> but look like Misha. That's what would happen. So I, I'm, 
I'm not going to answer that question for myself. I just want to see Misha possessed as Rowena. That's my answer. Can that, can that be my answer? Yep, sure, Thank whatever you, you want. Thank you for your question. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hi, Red. You're redder than Red Red. <laughs> wow. I was wondering, what is your favorite part about playing Rowena? I... Jensen um, and I talked about this. Um, Supernatural, I'm going to give you shampoo to look after that lovely mane. Um, how in Supernatural, in, we get to do physical comedy and real pathos. There's hardly any jobs on television where you get to swan about in an evening gown casting spells, but then actually have a real feeling about something, you know? So I, my I, my favourite bit about being an actor is that. My favourite bit about being an actor um, is when I'm in a moment as Rowena, I feel like I'm really. Who's making that noise? Is that a baby? Hello! <laughs> Hello! I'm called the baby whisperer, I make them cry. Are you crying in my panel? Are you crying? Oh, are you going to stop crying? Yes. You want to say something? Can you say something? No. No. I got dimples. I got dimples. Nice to see you. Aw. Shampoo. I've not answered your question, have I? I've not answered your question. What was your question? What was it? My favorite part. Okay, so I love in a moment when, um, when I'm really, uh, she's a kind of character that you have to really commit to. You kind of got to, and I, so I love, I love that aspect of fully, uh, me, or like, you know what I mean? It's just so fun to have to commit to something so fully. That's my favorite bit about playing Rowena. Thank you for your question. Yeah. And then, like, the hard part of it is, like, you've got to, like, you've got to, like, stare at Jensen. <laughs> so perfect. <laughs> Symmetrical freckles. <laughs> Symmetrical eyelashes. He's not a real human. <laughs> they 3D printed him. <laughs> I'm convinced he's so perfect. Mm, I love him so much. So there's, there's, there's hard aspects to the job as well. It's intimidating working with, with these boys. So, hello, sir. Hello, Ruth. How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you doing? Good. Uh, happy early birthday to you. Thank you. By the way. Maybe Loudon Suede could come out and lead us in a birthday song. That would be nice. Dick, if you're listening. What, what, what? In a birthday song. A birthday song? To you. Who? All of them. All Ooh. your clothes. Yeah. I'll okay. get a pure, do you know what that means? It's so Scottish, it means you'll go red. I'll get a pure beamer. <laughs> um, so, uh, from my perspective, your character, Rowena, is more of a cross between like Tinkerbell and the Wicked Witch of the West. Yeah, like oh, I it. like that. So, where, do, where, did, where did you get your inspiration from for that character? Oh, um, thank you for your question. <laughs> I give my last one away, otherwise I would. Um, so the, when I got the audition sites, um, I, I did that thing. I don't know if you do the same thing when you read a book. You turn to the last page and I read the last line, which was, now do you understand why it breaks my heart to see what a colossal pussy you've become? <laughs> and I was like, here. <laughs> How fun. And then when it came to actually shooting that, you're not allowed to say that word on American television at eight o'clock at night. Um, so I improvise num nut, which I, I, I do I, I do have a fondness <laughs> for calling Mark Shepherd num nut <laughs> to his face often. Um, but anyway, I so yeah, it was so in there. And then in the first audition, Eugenie and Brad, who wrote the first episode really for Rowena, you know, I was having some real moments as Rowena, and they were like, she's having more fun than that. And I thought that's the key. Like, whatever it is she's doing, she's really enjoying it. 
you know, she's not killing somebody to get, she's like, she's enjoying killing them. <laughs> At the same time, like, she's like, she's, you know, she's, she's in, enjoying life. And, uh, and then, I think I said this yesterday in my panel, and I mean this, when I used to be telling Crowley off, Fergus off, and I thought, I, I wanted it, I, I was wondering if I was going far enough or if it was too far, I used to think, what would Fiona do? That's my mum. She, she ran the biggest high school in our region of Scotland. <laughs> So I, like, when I was ever being really, really strict, or really telling him off about the first blade, or whatever, I would, I would um, think, of, think of my mum. <laughs> in a good way. In a really authoritative uh, way. Thank you for your question. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're running low in supplies, y'all. We're running Hi. low. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, my question is a little fun question. Uh, if a genie granted you three wishes, what would they be and why? I'm a genie in a bottle. You better rub me the right way. Three wishes. What would yours be? Number one, pay off my student loans. Okay. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> How hard do they live? I have no idea. Ah. <laughs> so it's a tricky one, right? It's a tricky one. Because you could work like wipe out world hunger, or or something like that. Like in, you know, even with one wish, to have unlimited designer shoes, right? You know, it, like depends what way your brain's going. So my serious answer to that, my serious answer to your question is, I would love for everyone to get enough consciousness to know that they are not their thoughts that they are this being inside, there are these spiritual beings inside these bodies having an experience and that, and that happiness is an inside job. I would love for the work, like I'd love everyone to get connected to that. And I think we would treat each other a lot more kindly if we could remember that all the time. And the, if I was, my, 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 my Rowena answer would be that I would wish for unlimited pink champagne a permanent masseuse and my own eyeshadow range. <laughs> Does that answer your question? <laughs> Thank you. Nice to see you. Oh dear, I almost went a bit Kim Rhodes there. I'm pulling back, I'm pulling back from age. She's stuck on a plane. Bless her. Are you all following her on Twitter just now? Oh gosh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Marissa. Marissa. Where are you um, from? Michigan. Michigan. <laughs> yeah! Okay, um, what ridiculous thing has someone tricked you into doing or believing? <laughs> oh, dear. Um, <laughs> mm, I don't know if I can say that in front of people. Do it. Hmm. And like I back, I told this story earlier where, um, and I put a bowl of water in his bed on top of the electric blanket. <laughs> so so um, <laughs> when people, when people tr try to trick me and do things like that, it doesn't always turn out well in the end for, for them. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm, the only thing I'm remembering just now is an April Fool's that I tricked people into, and I couldn't believe it, it was so simple. Last April Fools, I phoned a bunch of people and told them I'd booked a movie called April Fool, and not one person stopped me. <laughs> not one person got it. I can't, I, I don't want to admit to the other things that you're asking me. <laughs> so I'm trying to swerve your question. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to sidestep your question. I'm trying to swerve away from it. Uh, well, I mean, there's a time that Jared and that pulled out the thing they pulled out when we were filming, but like, that's, that's a family show. <laughs> I'm going to stop there. <laughs> Thank you for your question. <laughs> I'm so delicate. <laughs> Hi. 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 What's your name? Drew. Drew? Is it Drew or short for Andrew? Just Drew. What's your question? Um... Who's your favorite person on Supernatural? My 
favorite person? Besides yourself. You mean character or person? Person. Person. Mike, who does craft services, who bakes his tea all day. He's <laughs> <is> pretty awesome. <laughs> And, uh, sir, I'm going to give you a pencil to do your homework with. Does that sound good? Thank you for your question. Thank you. There she goes, helping a young boy break into thievery <laughs> at a young age. Uh, how was it? Has it been great, how Ruth? Outstanding. They did a little dance in the middle. They got up and boogied and it was You funny. did? Yeah. <laughs> they shook their touches for me. <laughs> we got our steps in. <laughs> Thank you for keeping them nimble. Ladies and gentlemen, Ruth Connell. She's a black magic woman. She's a black magic woman. She's a black magic woman. Got me so blind that I can't see. magic woman and she's gonna make a devil of me all right robbie do what you do to get this thing done all right